Guantanamo has been a hot potato issue for George W. Bush, and now it's being left to his successor. The issue is likely to be at the top of the administration's agenda right after Barack Obama's inauguration. An executive order to shut down the detention camps is expected during his first week in office and may be on Obama's first day. Our correspondent in the United States, Zhu Hua, recently paid a visit to the naval base where the detention camps are located. It's heaven and hell all in one. With this golden sunshine, white sand, green palm trees and blue water, Guantanamo would make an ideal holiday resort if not for what goes on behind the heavily guarded walls. Since 2002, Naval Base has been used as detention center for suspects captured by U.S. forces in its widely fought campaign against terrorism. The base houses nine camps, with number five specifically holding the so-called diehards. However, during this visit, closely escorted media staff were denied access to all of the camps except for one, the deserted X-ray camp. Now overgrown by tall white grass, X-ray was the first detention facility built in Guantanamo to house 20 enemy combatants from Afghanistan in January 2002. Now, the reason a lot of those pictures did, were released was because the primary purpose was to show our country and the world that we are doing something about the war on terrorism. Since their capture, many of the detainees have spent years here without being formally charged or tried. In recent years, details have emerged about the abuse and torture of detainees and the use of extreme interrogation methods. This has prompted public opinion worldwide to question the legitimacy of the prison and to call for its close. For anyone who takes over from Bush, it's a perfect opportunity to boost a humanistic image. And Barack Obama didn't miss it. Ever since his presidential campaign, he repeatedly made it clear that he'll close the camp as soon as he takes office. But many tough problems remain including the continuous holding or return of the 250 detainees, America's future plan to deal with terrorism, and the establishment of an effective judicial process to address the issue. Experts say empty the prison is likely to take many months, perhaps as long as a year. Whether those counsel will continue in, in uh, a revised military commissions process, whether it will be in the courts martial, whether it will be in the federal district court, whether it will be in a new uh, national security court, which is, is something that's also been discussed. <clears throat> um, I, I, I really can't predict that. Masula is correct. No one can speak with any certainty except the new occupant of the White House, who is now busy rehearsing the oath of office he'll take on the Lincoln Bible. Shutting the doors of a notorious camp might be easy. But a new president has yet to face the difficult task of striking a balance between long-term national security and instant popularity. Of course, a lot of issues remain urgent to be settled. However, with Obama's determination and eagerness to start a brand new era, the final closing of the Gitmo detention camps is only a matter of time. Zhu Hua, CCTV, in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba.